حضور آپ جواب تو دے دیں میں نے سوال ہے اس کا تو آپ جواب میں آ تو جاؤں اس میں آپ آئیں گے تو اگر دن نکل جائے گا میں نے کہا اگر یہ ہم لفظ کاٹ دیں سبجیکٹ ٹو کانسٹیٹیوشن ہینڈ لو فرق کیا پڑے گا پھر جی اس کا سوال کا جواب سر فرق فرق یہ پڑے گا فرق نہیں پڑے گا لیکن پوائنٹ از نہیں پڑے گا نا نہیں لیکن ایشو تھینک یو نہیں ایشو یہ ہے نیکسٹ پوائنٹ نہیں سر پہلے ابھی سن تو لیں میں کمپلیٹ تو کر لوں سر آپ کی اجازت سے اگر پھر بھی کوئی لا اپ رول نہیں بنا سکیں گے وچ وائلیٹس اینی پروویژن اف دا کانسٹیٹیوشن از دس سم تھنگ ٹو بی ٹاٹ ٹو دا سپریم کورٹ نو سر بٹ آئی ایم ہمبلی سبمٹنگ سبجیکٹ ٹو لا ڈز ناٹ مین دا پارلیمنٹ کین لیجسلیٹ دیٹ از مائی ہمبل سبمیشن سبجیکٹ ٹو کیونکہ جہاں پارلیمنٹ جہاں کانسٹیٹیوشن پاور دیتا ہے پارلیمنٹ کو بنا دے اسپیسیفک ورڈز ار یوز جی اب پتہ نہیں اپ ریڈنڈنسی ہے پوٹ پوٹ ایم جس سے 3 4 5 6 ورڈز اف دا کانسٹیٹیوشن وی کین ڈیلیٹ as rendered meaningless sir, I'm is i'm reading, reading it like sub- that if i accept your sir, contention subject to only means by humble submission is a subject to only means that there is some kind of a restricting because the constitutional power which is a continuing power is being given to the so point the point you noted next point Gee, the point is that the words used in the constitution ji if parliament if constitution is giving power to the uh, to uh, to make any uh, law it specifically used certain words in the constitution if my lord kindly sees 154.5 article 154.5 next page my lord until majlis shura parliament makes provision by law in this behalf the council may make its rules of procedure these are the words then article 63 my lord if my lord kindly sees article 63 article 63 63 63, 63. article 6 sub clause 3 article 6 majlis shall by law article 6 if my lord جی پڑھ لیا جی آٹھ پانچ شو شیل بائی لا پرووائڈ پنشمنٹ آف پرسن فاؤن گلٹی آف ہائی ٹریزن دین مائی لارڈ ول کائنڈلی سی 1512 فریڈ آف ٹریڈ and my lord also reads when it is subject to clause 2 trade commerce intercourse throughout pakistan shall be majlis e shura may by law impose such restrictions may by law again sir then I'm, my lord I'm, what is the point you make i'm making you're just citing different my, provisions my lord if if the word in the 191 was the parliament can make law these kind of expressions as provided in the constitution would have been used my lord my humble submission is that when the par- constitution is giving the legislature legislature a power to en- enact a law then specifically words are used in the part. Mr. Uh, Zubairi, there is another question. My Lord. Once the rulemaking power has been exercised My Lord. by the Supreme Court in terms of the Constitution, because the power <coughs> vests in the Supreme Court, can subsequent legislation displace, as this Act purports to do so, can subsequent legislation displace the rules that ha- have lawfully been uh, and constitutionally been framed by the supreme court no my lord my that's my humble submission they cannot for the simple reason because then it will become ad nauseum for example can now the supreme court which excise can make law regulating its practice procedure make a law overriding the overriding the parliament's making of the law then the, the, then the, the thing then the parliament will do it then the where will we stop so my humble submission that could not have been the intention of the framers of the constitution that to give power to parliament or because there are separation of power doctrines there once because honorable supreme court has made the uh, rules regarding regulating the practice procedure the parliament does not but that practice and procedure the rules cannot be in violation of any constitutional provision any law which existed sir the substantive question law question is where does the constitution confer in which institution confer the power to make rules ji whether it is the parliament or is it the supreme court ji 
if it is the Supreme Court, the only restriction is that the Supreme Court can do so within the framework of the Constitution and the existing law. My Lord. And that's it. Yes, The Parliament Lord. cannot because it, it uh, the power does not rest in the Constitution in, uh, in, the, in the Parliament in terms of uh, Article 199. 191, my humble Next point. Next point. Next point. That's the reason I was saying. I would really want to hear you, Mr. Zubairi. Sir, my Lord is asking a question. If I may ask you, Mr. Zubairi, the these words subject to the Constitution, if these words were not there at all, and the Supreme Court were to make rules, and someone were to point out, well, sir, this proposed rule X is contrary to the uh, to the Constitution. The answer would presumably be the Supreme Court would say, well, okay, yes, you are right. So we can't make rule X, right? So in that sense, saying subject to the Constitution is always redundant. Yes. Because it's always going to be there. Yeah. Seems to me, but there's the question that perhaps there's a more sub more subtle point here. The Constitution, of course, can also be amended. <coughs> yes? Yes, under Mother. Article. But by and large, the Constitution is regarded at any given time to be fixed. Right? This is it. Underneath it, whatever happens by the judiciary, by the executive, by the legislature. So maybe the point in saying subject to the Constitution is not to make the obvious point that everything is always subject to the Constitution. Everyone knows that. But rather to fix the position of law that when the rules are being made what you just said yeah, when the rules are being made by saying subject to the constitution and the law the law the the law okay. can only be as at that time. at that time sir when the rules Maybe are framed this is the point that that is being made here because yes. otherwise i was thinking about this and i've been thinking about this since the case started why say subject to the constitution yeah. because everything is always subject, subject to the constitution, constitution. Mr. So Dubairi, I just want to point. say one thing. The day we hear this case, the weeks we hear this case, our institution exceeds our disposal. The, way, the day we don't, our disposal exceeds our execution. If you think this is a never-ending hearing, this is the last day of the hearing. My Lord. Please remember that. You can argue till one thing. be expressed in judgments. I want to hear counsel. Sir, when a I mean, if you, if, my Lord, I, please, I, I, uh, please continue. We will restrain ourselves. You just continue your argument so we can I, we can be enlightened what you want to tell us, and we can uh, record it, and we can either agree with you or disagree with you in our judgments. 